What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with just a quick overlook of the new YouTube app that was just released this morning for iOS. Let's go ahead and look at the icon really quick here. Nothing too special, but overall very simple design, I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. So as you can see it opens up very fast, there's no pixelated loading or you know spots like that, which is nice. Now this UI I have to say does look very nice, especially if you're going to be getting the new iPhone which is rumored to have that bigger screen. This would definitely pop even more and look great on that bigger screen. And the UI is actually very polished, as you can see I can pull down and refresh just like many iOS applications. But they also make use of different gestures such as sliding like that. So as you can see this brings up all my you know subscriptions and my actual channel, my settings. Go ahead and have a look at the sort of settings you get. So you have home feed, just like the um, upload page you can have, uh, actually on the, on the regular desktop page it's highlights and everything but we'll go ahead and do uploads only. That's just my personal preference. But as you see going down there, not too many more options, but definitely some, which is nice to have. Go ahead and add more channels. So if I have more than one YouTube channel, then I can add it here. Very cool. Go ahead and tap on, say, Wilson Tech 1. And then here's Wilson Tech 1's videos. If I go ahead and play one, I'll go ahead and turn this down a little. But if the video starts playing, of course, I can rotate this way and it plays just fine. <laughs> No infringement intended, Lamar, but uh, if you haven't checked out Wilson Tech 1, definitely go ahead and do it. It's great, great stuff. But as you can see right down here, here's all you know the videos, description, uh, tags, stuff like that. I am subscribed, shows the likes and dislikes and the views, which is already more information than the other one showed, and in a much more elegant way, I would add. So as you can see, there's um, some suggested videos, whether they're from him or not, really just kind of depends on the video. And of course, comments. Now, one thing I am disappointed with is that you cannot add comments. Actually, wow, you can. Look at that. I didn't even see that before. So um, yeah, I've only used this once, so this video is uh, done pretty quick. But I guess you can add a comment, so that's very cool, actually. Now, I don't think you can reply to comments, though, but uh, hopefully that'll come in an update. That's really what I'm looking for, is to be able to reply to comments on the go to my audience. But um, for now, I guess that works. You know, if I just come across the video and I like it, I can comment. That's way more functionality than the other um, YouTube iOS application had, which is very nice. Now, if I go ahead and, go ahead and tap this, I can actually do a search. So as you can see, I typed in Hackintosh. I get a couple suggested results. Go ahead and just do Hackintosh. And once again, you know, very much like the desktop results, life hacker. Uh, you got some of my videos here. You got some from uh, Tech HD, and you know, many various people. So the search is definitely much better than the other application as well, which is very welcome. You can even search channels that you know have Hackintosh in the name, things like that. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what that little gear does. Okay, so this is just our, our search options, which is very cool. So this application definitely brings a lot of functionality that the original iOS app did not have, which is a very welcome addition. Everybody's been waiting for an update for a long, long time, and I'm glad that Apple kind of just dropped theirs and let Google take it into their own hands, because after all, it is a Google service. So what do you guys think about the YouTube app? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. But also, I want to let you guys know that I will be doing a live stream tomorrow to cover the Apple event. There's a link right down there in the description to where the live stream will be. So if you're not doing anything tomorrow at around 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern, go ahead and stop by. I would talk some Apple and, you know, have a good time. So thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think of the YouTube iOS app. I may be doing a review. I may not. It just kind of depends on how things go in the next couple weeks. But I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. Like I said, be sure to check out the link for that live stream. I'll see you guys in my next video.